Hey guys, Stellar here. All right, I am back with another Stellar Speaks video, and this is part two of me sharing my thoughts and opinions about Mama Bear. Um, you know, there might be a part three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know. I have a lot of thoughts and opinions when it comes to Mama Bear, and especially over this past weekend, because a lot was said about Mama Bear, and Mama Bear did a lot of talking over the weekend. Uh, Sunday, I had free time, so I was able to hop into a lot of streams, hopped on a panel. So I'm just sharing my thoughts and opinions with some of the things that were said over the weekend. Okay, so it started with Randy's stream. I popped on to YouTube to see that the ladies were talking about um, Mama Bear, and I guess some of her reactions she was having to the auction that was held for Little B, Little Rosie uh, the night before. And the way that it was coming across to me when it came to Mama Bear was that Mama Bear was really envious and a bit hurt that the auction, you know, wasn't held for her, which was understandable. I mean, I, I totally got if she felt her, her feelings were hurt because she does have a GoFundMe. She does need to raise money for her medical expenses, whatever it is. But the thing is, is that, you know, it's not her GoFundMe that has people upset. Okay, I think people could care less whether Mama Bear has a GoFundMe or not because in the end, it, it's up to us whether we want to donate or not. But what she fails to understand is that people get upset when Mama Bear attacks those who are very loved and admired in this community. And that's the way it's going to be. And if Mama Bear could get that through her thick skull, um, it might help the situation a lot because I know for myself you come after certain people and you know I'm I'm gonna say something about it of course I'll be tactful as always but still you know when I saw mama bear getting heated about little Rosie um you know that really started to bother me I don't like that and then when she was on Randy's panel and started mocking uber that too, that didn't sit well with me and it didn't sit well with others. And that's one thing that Mama Bear has to understand. You know, she thinks she has the right to just go and bash on whoever she wants to. I mean, in reality, yes, she does. But, uh, you know, there's consequences that come with talking shit on certain people that are truly loved by others in this community. And Mama Bear had said all she did was asked Rosie a question. She just asked Rosie, well, how would it feel if you were being attacked for your GoFundMe? How would you feel if you get all the hate that I get? You know, would you please just tell these people to back off? Would you please just do this and tell them to leave me alone? And Mama Bear got upset because she said that little Rosie just basically washed her hands of it and said, you know, no, I'm not going to do that. Which why would she think Little Rosie has any control of what anyone says? You know, if people dislike Mama Bear and have things to say about her, that all comes back on Mama Bear. It's no reflection of Little Rosie. People are fed up with the way Mama Bear treats those that they really care about. And that's the point that she is missing. Um... You know, people have opinions about Mama Bear, and I really don't think that those opinions are going to be changed. I think that she has really sealed her fate, especially with everything that happened this weekend and some of the things she still continues to go on about. Um, you know, the ladies that were on the panel were really just trying to make Mama Bear see that it's her actions that are really getting under the skin of people, you know, that it just, her judgmental ways, you know, her sitting there thinking that she has the right to say and do whatever she wants to because she pulls the, well, God is on my side card. And that's not the case. You know, you can't sit there and continually point the finger and judge people because there are three fingers pointing right back at you. And you can't just keep on saying, well, you know, oh, I might have said something that offended somebody, but they're not my words, they're God's words. Well, you're the messenger. You're the one sharing those words. So you're the one that's going to get the hate. So, you know, I don't understand. But anything that was being said on the panel, 
it just wasn't getting through to her. And even myself, I had a, a point in that, you know, chat yesterday to speak directly to Mama Bear. And like I told her, you know, if you were just a little bit more softer, if you could come across a little bit more kinder, if you can be humbled, you might start to change people's perceptions of you. They might start seeing that you have a softer side and seeing that you're a little bit more vulnerable. But I'm sure that fell on deaf ears as well. Um, so it's like, you know, how much more do you do when a person doesn't want to listen? And, you know, I give Randy so much credit. Randy, you have such a good heart. You're such a good friend. And you are such a good friend to Mama Bear. I have seen you go to bat for this lady left and right. And in yesterday's stream, you know, Randy, you reached out to Mama Bear and you said, Mama Bear, why can't you show others the Mama Bear I know, the Mama Bear I care about? And she just like blew it off like nothing, you know. And, and I get that you want to keep on taking up for her. And, and, you know, Randy, I felt bad when later on in the evening you are on Marla's stream and, you know, you were kicking yourself, feeling like, you were mean to Mama Bear, you were rude to Mama Bear, and, it, you know, I'm at home screaming at the screen saying, no, Randy, don't feel that way, you know, it's called tough love, and sometimes when you love somebody enough, it's okay to kind of smack them and put them in their place, and in fact, I think, Randy, that you're the only one person that could maybe really influence Mama Bear, and if that's what it takes for you to, you know, kind of smack her out of it then that's what it takes but in reality I I really don't think she's going to change her ways I I don't think that she takes this, anybody's advice because she's so set in her ways and I do find it really sad that you know mama bear can't take a step back and just say all right so many people are saying the same thing to me over and over they might have a point maybe I am wrong maybe I am going about things wrong um, maybe I do have to make a change with the way I talk to people, the way I talk down to people, the way I come across to people. Um, you know, that is personal growth when you can do something like that. When you can say, wait a minute, let me take a good look in the mirror and reflect on what people are telling me. And not take it to heart like as such harsh criticism, but as, you know, meaningful advice that can maybe change the rest of the time you spend here on YouTube and in this community. You know, then later on in the evening, Marla had a chat and it was the same topic. You know, Mama Bear was on her panel as well. Um, but the thing that was different was Marla actually took the time to ask Mama Bear, Mama Bear, what can this community do to make you feel more welcome? What can we do to make things a little bit better for you? Because Mama Bear was saying she felt, you know, excluded when she went into different chats and people just jumped on her. And I thought it was very kind of Marla to ask that question to Mama Bear. You know, so I thought Marla was being very fair, asking that question and letting Mama Bear go on her panel to have yet another voice. But what did I witness first thing this morning? Mama Bear on a live stream bashing on Marla. Yeah, not being thankful or gracious for being on her stream, but talking crap about Marla and talking about how she was so mean to her and so rude to her and Marla needs to get her facts straight. You know, and then Mama Bear is sitting there acting like she's got some Oh, juicy tea to spill on somebody. Uh-huh. I've been doing some digging, and I found out somebody has a criminal record, had to be moved around 13 times. Mm-hmm. I got some tea I could spill on somebody. Right then and there, I knew what she was talking about. She was talking about Marla's past, her criminal record. And what does that have to do with anything? Why, why even bring that up? And aside from that, that tea is old. It has been spilt so many times. It has been sopped up, spilt over and over. That tea is dried up tea. It's old tea. For those of us who love Marla, support Marla, we know about her past. She's spoken about her past. She's repented for her past. 
She's done her time for the past. How many damn times are people going to try to crucify Marla over and over for her past mistakes? She's owned up to her past mistakes. Oh, but Mama Bear just sitting there all smug thinking she's got an ace in her pocket. That right there, Mama Bear, is the reason you get so much hatred. That right there, Mama Bear, is the reason people do not like you. You had no reason to try to throw that crap up on your stream this morning. That had nothing to do with an auction that was held that you are envious, jealous about. That had nothing to do with a conversation that you are upset about, that Rosie didn't defend you about. Marla's past had nothing to do with what is going on with you in this community. Marla's past is Marla's past. And for you, Mama Bear, to sit there on your high horse and point the finger and act like you had something that you can drop on Marla just goes to show what type of person you are. So Mama Bear, you can take that tea, you could spill it, you could sip on it, you can take a bath in it for all I care, but I will have you know that those of us who admire Marla are not sitting in judgment of her past. We love and appreciate Marla for the kind, humble, sweet person that she is. Mama Bear, if you tried that approach, you just might have gotten a lot more support here in this community. Anyway, stay tuned for part three because I'm sure it's coming uh, that's all I have for you guys right now. You guys all have an awesome day.